I mean, so maybe there's just no answer. There's no insurance against it. Japanese, you mean Japanese like uh, insurance? Yes. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, Japan is the is the, is the is the wildest dream of every insurance company globally because people buy insurance here like crazy. Great. Yeah. So you see, Megan, may I have to comment? Yes, oh, well, ah, right, you have to comment because you work for an insurance company, right? I did. Oh! I did. Oh, oh, oh. But, but, it's, uh, but not because of the working in insurance company, but it's just the, uh, uh, I think it comes from the, uh, again, uh, individualism against uh, organization. And, uh, like it, uh, the insurance is is used for uh, responsibility, no. right? Like, like um, you would buy extended warranty, for example, right. so that when things break, you can ask for the repair for uh, um, service, right? And unseen, unseen, yes. And unseen will be provi provided by the professional of that service. Right. I think that's the difference. The, like in, like in, in other countries, they also look for the cost, cost performance. Right. But, but um, when there's a cost performance, when something screws up, who's going to be responsible for being screwing up that job? Right, right, right. But, in Japan, if you are in profession to do it, then you can be responsible and the company can be responsible to right. providing that service. Right. So I think that's what makes a difference. Yeah, sometimes it really doesn't make sense. Like I, I rented a car this week and uh, uh, then you can buy extra insurance and extra, extra insurance. Because, yes, yes. <laughs> but it's, it's really like, okay, you're insuring the, the risk of, of having to pay goman yen for uh, for I don't know uh, almost thousand yen like are you are you seriously like uh, like that, that doesn't make any sense who gets that insurance almost everybody apparently yeah the the this uh, this is you know still still uh, <coughs> and right. and um. Person who just don't don't want to pay the five hundred yen. I mean, I mean, uh, fifty thousand yen. Yeah. Right. Right. In in uh, um, and also if it's like uh, travel for one or two days, I think people wouldn't matter care to pay that heavy um for that number of days. But uh, if you're renting for like two weeks, then I think people will some people will change their mind. Right, right. It's psychological. Like, uh, but this is this is also uh, hmm. this is this is also uh, so true. There is a there is a game game th theory uh, about this. Like, um, there's a game theoretic model uh, about uh, uh, risk aversion and and how much you are willing to pay. Like, purely mathematically speaking, it's uh, people don't buy insurance. Um, uh, but uh, but actually, because because of this uh, this emotional element of risk risk aversion, what if um, they uh, they are actually uh, very eager to take that? It's the same with uh, uh, being in a in a, in a like a television show where you can win a, a prize, or there is this uh, how to be a millionaire or whatever. Um, the, the going through the first questions is very simple. Um, but you, you know that this, this game show that where, uh, I, I don't know exactly what the name is, but it's very popular, uh, uh everywhere in the world. You, you can, you, you need to answer questions. And, and, uh, if you answer the question right, you can answer the question and that you, they double your price. But if oh, you, yeah, yeah, I know. If I you know. answer it wrong, like that. yeah, who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, that's, I think that's the name of the show. Yeah. So you, 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 if you answer it right, you you can get you can double um, your uh, your prize money. But if you uh, answer it wrong, then you lose everything. Yep. So oh, no, not everything. I think that's the that's the point. Uh, you you can keep you can keep that prize. So if if you no, if you just stop, then you can keep the prize. If you yeah. give the wrong answer, 
you can lose everything. Yeah. So like almost everyone stops, right? So because they feel like, oh, if I win fifty thousand, fifty thousand dollars, then that's a that's a, a lot of money. So why would I risk to play all or nothing uh, for uh, for a question uh, that I know for ninety percent sure? But if I would lose the fifty thousand dollars, I could never forgive myself. So that's why people do not go for that extra mm. step. It's it's human nature. Oh, and by the way, when you mention about that, the extra, extra answer, there's, uh, not only 2000 coverage, but also the, it was for like the, uh, uh, what do you call that? Punk, what do you call that? Uh, flat tire? Yeah, flat tire. Mm. So, so the, just, I think just a matter, you know, it's definitely emotional part, you know, I mean, how often do you, in Japan, you know, when you're renting from, from a decent company, how often do you, would you get a flat tire, right? <laughs> I mean, but, but for a feel of, feel of, uh, unseen, feel of, uh, securities, I think people, because it's, it's only like 500 yen. Yeah. For the extra insurance per day. Right. Right. It's only 500 yen, so why not do it? But that's actually, that's, that's the, uh, that's how they actually make make the money because the rental fee is not that high. But mm. everybody buys insurance, Takara. They, they can still make money. Yeah. Yeah. How about health insurance? Because I, I feel that health insurance is also... Uh, people are also insuring themselves quite... Yes. Um, with the, uh, I'm not really familiar with life insurance, but... Uh, mm. Um, I know that it's, you know, cancer insurance is, is popular. Um, right. That's, that's, that, that surprises me because, because, uh, uh, like, only insurance for cancer, but there, there could be all kinds of other diseases that you could attract. Because yeah. in, the, in the Netherlands, it's illegal to sell insurance that only has a certain kind of disease. So, no. yeah. The main Japanese like only cancer disease. Right, but you could get Alzheimer, you could get, and it would make, make, make your life just as miserable, but you only have insurance for cancer, yeah, but that's too bad. You see, and then speaking of the insurance, the, the recent uh, disasters we have, we're having in Japan, right. I think that would help increase the uh, natural disaster insurance for the cars, for example. Right, 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 right. Because, you know, Kyushu wasn't expected for earthquake a lot not before and now we have it and it's uh yeah I think I think more opportunity for insurance market uh in soon future. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so that that's the that's basically that's where people's fears and emotions really come into play and they become a big market. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that that's actually. Uh, but if it's, I don't know whether it's typical Japanese or not. What what is your what is your feeling? I, I I just happen to know that maybe they just have enough money and they're risk averse enough to uh, to do that. But uh, I, I cannot really understand it as a phenomenon of um, of Japanese culture. Actually, well, I don't know if I if I, if I can represent the answer, but from. From way I feel, um, or maybe because I'm just being persuaded, but it just, it just some, um, in, in this, uh, racing car case, for example, that means here are the application. And. Sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't, I didn't hear that. Okay, um, um, I don't know if I would be able to present the answer as right. Japanese, but at least for my personal, um, uh, opinion, for my impression. Hmm. When, when I go rent the car out and when they offer me insurance and, and uh, double insurance, um, I also would often get it. And one of my reasons is you are renting a car for vacation. Right. And they are, uh, and uh, they are, like, like, I think in Japan for car insurance, one of the, one is a lot of people are beginner drivers. Yeah, <laughs> right? I think ninety percent of the, pe- the cars on the on the road are beginner drivers. <laughs> and then the beginner drivers having some good, in- um, uh, having even covered maybe the cost, right? Right. The the I won't be calling myself beginner driver. Those people, 
uh, I know all the time I've been driving the state and I've been uh, driving in Canada in Japan when I rent a car. But uh, still, I go for it in my case because it's still a little bit uh, safety, but it's just, it just what it means is the, uh, uh, I guess, don't want to regret what actually the thing happened. Right. Yeah, you don't have, have the choice of, uh, it would be covered with this, um, for cheap, I don't know, uh, for cheap insurance. Can I ask you a yeah. question? Can I ask you a question? So, so sure. you don't want to regret. Uh, is that if you would, if you would rent a car and then you would not get the insurance and an accident would happen, um, would you, would you, Regret it for yourself, or would you? Uh, would other people criticize you for not getting insurance? No, no, I'll be pissed for myself. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Why would I, I, you know, I'm paying this much money for this, and I was able. I, I could have been covered. Right. Okay. I see. I see. But I think that everybody has that. But on the on the other hand, do you feel relieved when you when you do not get the insurance and the, and you think, oh, you got that? I didn't get the insurance, so I, I got I got a I got a good deal on this car. Yeah, but I would call. I would have been lucky. Right. Because if you know, if you know, if you want to apply that argument, then why do you want to cover yourself to start with? You don't even need a liability. Right. Well, but basically, there is a there is this. Okay, the the worst thing. Worst case, so for example, I went to the Netherlands for a month or or yeah. two months, and uh, uh, I was offered health insurance, and I thought, damn, that's expensive. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm not going to take it. So I didn't get the health insurance, and luckily I didn't get sick, and I fell mm -hmm. off. Well, fortunately, I didn't get health insurance, but I I also fell off a bit lucky. Uh, but that is just uh, okay. So if I would if I would have to go to the hospital, ma, that's my own fault. Though that's stupid, but uh, it's it's a it's a risk that I took. I uh, mm. I took the wrong gamble. Okay, my sugar, and I, I I just need to pay it. Right, right. right. The 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 with the with health insurance, I don't know, but I'm still not even covered with, with the one with health insurance. But with with the car insurance, this is something with your car insurance. This is something. With the, uh, um, when you call the wreck, then you're also interrupting others. Right. To, and, and that, I think, I think, you know, with Connors and I think it's also with the feel of guilt of maybe you be really, uh, uh, interrupting someone, you know, someone's life. Right. But that's a different kind of insurance, right? Right, I mean, well, car insurance. I mean, yeah, but when you, when you create debt, then, you know, when you make a car accident. Yeah. And when someone's in that car, I mean, you are the cause of the accident. Yeah. Then you have to pay for the car you rented, you have to pay for the car you the damage or others, and pay the money for their uh, hospital. Right. So. And, and if you are covered, then you're pretty much in uh, a good expensive zone for dealing with all of it, right? Yeah, but but I think if you rent a car, then then your liability is covered, right? Liability, yes, li liability is covered uh, up uh, on um, yes, liability is covered. So I think another part is you know um, uh, if you no 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 you have option to cover your liability. Oh really? That's that's impossible in the Netherlands. You need to cover your liability. No, Japanese case is mandatory. Mandatory, yeah, mandatory portion. But uh, you should also uh, pay for additional insurance coverage. Otherwise, you cannot pay them all. Right. In the case of injury. So mm. Japanese car car insurance. Everybody join for this car insurance. Right? But health insurance overseas. Depending on people, right? One month or two months or a couple of weeks. This is depending on people. Not not all of those. Uh, not uh, I think a few people pay for overseas in, uh, health insurance. Right. But car insurance, almost everybody pay for that. Right? Well, especially liability, because actually the, the the risk of 
actually if not getting liability uh, insurance and, and causing an accident that could actually wreck you entirely. The, the chances that it happens are slim, but if it happens... Also, do you know the... はい、皆さんこんにちは。運野です。今日はですね。運野塾のあの研修のプログラムをご紹介したいと思います。で、まあこういう風うなホームページありますけれども、あの是非ですね。あの一度中身をご覧になっていただきたいと思います。あ今日はブーキューブさんのスタジオに来てまあ、この収録をしておりますので、えー、中身はこういう風になってて、今最近ホットはね。グローバルリーダーの定義など書いております。で、特にあの経団連が作成しました。まあ、留学すればあの英語ができて専門性を持つというだけではですね、えー、グローバルリーダーにならないとここに書いてありますようにですね、えー、仕事ができる専門性を持つ英語ができるだけじゃなくてですね私どもの塾ではあリベラルアースということそれからあもう一つは孫子の平和さらにはですね、えー、日本の歴史というものを合わせて教えることによって皆さんが海外の欧米の方々ともしくは華僑圏の方々と正々堂々と渡り合えるような人物を育成しようというふうなことを考えています。ここにあの次のスライドが出ておりますけれども、ここにあの書いてありますのでですね、さらに、えー、私どもの運の塾の中身につきましてはですね、えー、欧米の資料しか使っておりません。またあ実際の運の塾は英語ではやっておりますので、まあ、英語の講師がこう話しておりますけど、学習はですね、えー、日本の歴史をまだ教えてますので。各週の午後はですね、えー、日本のプログラムをしておりますで。以前はこれ有料だったんで、今はですね、実際に会場費も取っていただいておりませんで、えー、毎回5000円ということで、えー、朝9時から午後5時までやっておりますので、えー、ぜひ皆さんですね、えー、ご検討の上、ご参加いただければと。まあ、英語のできない方もですね、えー、各週の午後、こういうふうな検証をしておりますので、えー、ぜひご参加いただければというふうに思っておりますので、よろしくお願いします。でここにあのえー、さらにですねあのグループ討議とか実務の勘どころを教えるって書いてありますけど、まあ、実際には私があの10年ほどですね欧米の新聞とか雑誌等をですね集めてきたもともと英語のベースでございますのでそうしたものをですね50セッションのテーマに分けて資料作成を接しております、まあ、そういうことで世界のオペレーションもしくは関東リスクも含めてですねしかも世界のトップの方々に対してもいろいろな分析とか洞察をしてですね、議論をしております。えそういったことも含めてですね、今後ともよろしくお願いしたいと思います。以上で私の挨拶を終えて終え,終えますが、まあ、今回のこのビデオの収録にあたってはですね、V キブさんのスタジオをお借りしてですね、お時間を頂戴してまあ、このビデオを作成させていただきました。よろしくお願いします。どうもありがとうございました。